Hey there, welcome to the 43rd Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. We've been working a lot with JSON lately. Let's continue by looking at JSON parse and JSON stringify. These are two functions that will help you parse a string into a JSON object and turn an object into a long string. When you send data to or receive data from a web server, the data is always uh, in a string format, but there are ways to send entire objects back. So for example, you can send an entire object back by using JSON stringify to turn the object into a long string. Um, once it's on the next part of your script, you can use JSON parse to parse that string back into JSON and work with the properties and the values individually. So the one thing to note about JSON parse is that the formatting of the string must be in JSON format. So it has to look something like this. If it's not in JSON format, you're going to get a syntax error. And you cannot parse string that doesn't look like JSON using the JSON uh, parse function. So let's quickly take a look at the syntax of JSON stringify. So uh, as I mentioned a long time ago, uh, J JavaScript is case sensitive, so JSON, JSON has to be in all caps. So you look JSON.stringify and you will pass in uh, an argument that you want to turn into a string. So for example, if you have an object here that looks like this, it has two properties and two values, we use JSON.stringify, send in the object. The output of this, wherever you're putting it, whether it's in HTML or your JavaScript console, it'll look like a long string. So the output will look something like this uh, once it comes out as a string. And then you can apply string methods to it because it's just a long string. Let's take a look at JSON parse. So JSON parse, uh, again, all caps, uh, you pass in one argument. Normally it's a string. It has to be, remember, it has to be in uh, JSON formatting, just like we have here, and it'll output the object version of that string. So what you'll get is something that looks kind of like this. So JSON parse and JSON stringify work really well together by uh, converting data into one format and another, and to the other, and back again. So let's do some quick practice and see what that looks like. So in front of you here, I have something that should look familiar. It's, it's uh, one of the objects that I've been using for a few tutorials so far, and I have an object called person and it has these properties and their associated values. I also have output, uh, the variable output attached to the span ID output which goes below. Let's practice. So let's do this. Let's turn this object into a string and then we'll change it back. So let's say we'll do output dot inner HTML plus equals to because we're appending JSON dots stringify and let's send in the person object. I'll just add a line break here. Whoops, there we go. Let's update and run and there we go. It turns it into just a long string. So this is this is a string. So how do we know it's a string? Let's apply uh, a string method to it. So we'll do to uppercase what I've been doing lately, run it and everything is now in all caps here. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's just get rid of this because it doesn't look too good. Let's run it and there we go, back to normal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy this whole row uh, and declare, whoops, var, uh, I'm gonna call it a string and I will just create a string of all of these, of this whole uh, string value because we know that it's a string we were able to apply string methods to it. So let's see what it looks like in the console, console.log string. Let's open the element inspector, console, get rid of this, run. There we go, it's a string. To lowercase, let's do that this time, run it. And there we go, everything is in lowercase we know that it's a string. So now let's turn this string into an object. So we'll do, uh, so with bar, let's just call it an object equals to json.parse string. And let's output it. Output.innerHTML append object. Update and run. There we go. So we have an object type that's being shown here. It's not actually showing anything here. So if I do object dot name, it shows Nasmus. If I do object dot city, there we go. So now we're treating a string as an object here. 
we converted a string to an object and we can do stuff to it. Let's actually do what we've learned in the last few tutorials with the for in loop and do something. So we'll do for p in string. Sorry, p in object because we uh, we can't do uh, this this str here string is not yet an object until it becomes an object here. So we'll do blah. And then let's do something like object p line break. And that's it. Just going to append the values of uh, each of the property values. So it'll be city, uh, excuse me, Nasmus, Boston, Massachusetts, etc. cetera, uh, with a line break. So if I update and run, there we go. You can see it. So here you go. This is the, whoops, this is the object turned to a spring. Uh, to a string and this is a string turned to an object where we apply a for in loop to iterate through the object properties and display their values. So this has been good practice. Uh, I hope you've learned something new about JSON parse and JSON stringify. Uh, this is extremely helpful uh, when you're sending data back to backend servers. You can parse the JSON, you can uh, turn it into a string, do whatever you want with them. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you want to see a specific tutorial, if you want to see a specific topic covered, uh, please let me know. I'm always happy to oblige. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.